Hi, thanks for joining me today. Brian Seifert here. Today I'd like to talk to you about a conversation that Jesus had with Peter and John. This account is written in John chapter 21, verses 18 through 23. Let's read 18 and 19 first. Most assuredly, I say to you, when you were younger, you girded yourself and walked where you wished. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands, and another will gird you and carry you where you do not wish. This he spoke, spoke signifying by what death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said to him, Follow me. This is telling us that Jesus told Peter how he would die. That had to have shaken Peter to the core. And because Peter had just finished denying Jesus three times not long before this. And Jesus had come to him and three times asked him, do you love me? And Peter said, yes. And he said, do you love me more than them all? He said, yes. So this had to have shaken Peter. And the next thing that Peter does, let's read. Then Peter turned around, saw the disciple who Jesus loved following who also had leaned on his breast at the supper and said, Lord, who is the one who will betray you? Peter, seeing him, said to Jesus, But Lord, what about this man? What about this man? Don't we do that? If the finger is being pointed at us, if something uncomfortable is being told to us, the first thing that pops in our head is, to point at someone else. And that's what Peter's doing here. What about John? You've just told me how I'm going to die. What about John? Well, let's see what Jesus said in response. Jesus said to him, If I will that he remain till I come again, what is that to you? Follow me. Wow. It's none of your business. If I let him live until I come again. What is that to you? Follow me. You follow me. And after this, the followers of Jesus, many of them believed that John would never die, which is remarkable, until Jesus returned. So how did John die? Well, the Bible doesn't really tell us. There's an author named Tertullian in 150 to 200 AD that wrote down an account of John under the Emperor Domitian being sentenced to death by boiling. This account is not in the Bible, but Tertullian wrote that in front of a crowd, some believe in a, in a Colosseum, that the fires were lit and John was standing there waiting to be thrown into this boiling vat of oil. If this account is accurate and it is not in the Bible so it's up to you whether you believe that or not. But if it is accurate, John must have had so many things going through his head. Like, did Jesus really say I would never die until he came again? Is that what he said? Or perhaps he was saying, wow, Jesus is coming back right now. I'm getting ready to die. So Jesus, to fulfill this, has to come back now. But according to the writings, when they pushed John in, he started preaching the gospel to the crowd. And when he went into the boiling vat of oil, he just continued to preach. And he was completely unscathed by the boiling oil. Historical records say that many, if not all, of the people who witnessed this turned to Christianity and gave their lives to Jesus. This infuriated Domitian. And so he exiled John to the Isle of Patmos. 
to work hard labor for the rest of his life. But while he was on the Isle of Patmos, the Bible says in Revelation 1, an amazing thing happened. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice as of a trumpet saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. What you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus and Smyrna, to Pergamos and Thyatira, to Sardius, or Sardis and Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Then I turned to see the voice that spoke with me, and having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands, and in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like to the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the feet, and girded about with the chest with a golden band. His head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. His feet were like fine brass, as if refined in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. He had in his right hand seven stars, out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun shining in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. But he laid his hand on me and said, Do not be afraid, for I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Haiti and of death. Write these things which you have seen, and the things which are, and the things which have taken place after this. If he tarries until I come again, if he lives until I come again, what's it to you? John hung on to that promise to the end of his life. And when he was an old man, exiled on the Isle of Patmos, there it was. Jesus appeared to John and gave him the book of Revelation. If you have a promise, maybe you were reading a scripture and it just stood out to you, grabbed a hold of your spirit and you cling to that scripture. Don't let go of that scripture. If that promise is to you, if you feel the Holy Spirit saying that is for you, Hang on to that. Maybe your child needs to find Jesus. Maybe your children are not saved. Maybe you find that scripture that says, if you raise your children up in the way they should go, when they're older, they will not depart from it. Cling to that scripture. Cling to that promise. That's for you. And God will fulfill that promise for you. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for sharing my videos. Thanks for liking on my videos and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like this video, and share it. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless.